Aaron from Texas Pressure Washing. Today we're going to talk to you about our brand new Hene Reel. This particular model of Hene Reel is a 12 inch Hene Reel. It is electrically operated. When you buy your electric Hene Reels, they'll come with a kit here with all your parts. We have one opened up right here. It comes with our solenoid, our switch, and our switch cover. There are some parts that are not going to be included that you're going to need in order to properly set this up. You'll need about 12 to maybe 14 inches of 10 gauge um, double wire and then you'll need some lug connectors. I will need two lug connectors for the back of the switch. The other end of the wires so you'll have your positive lug connector and then the negative lug connector off your switch and then your motor itself will need two other lug connectors. You'll need 14 gauge to 16 gauge for your uh, switch wiring and then you'll need 10 to 12 gauge wiring for your motor. Come over here and take a look at our motor. It's got two wires on it. Almost always the bottom wire is going to be your ground. Occasionally it's different so you always want to test first to make sure that you have the proper selection of which one's positive and which one's negative. So in order to do that, I'm going to use put this on a 12 volt battery. So when I push the 12 volt battery to the motor, this will start rotating. What we're looking for is, here's our spigot. We have our spigot. We want our spigot to reel hose onto the reel. So it needs to go this way. Because this way, it's your hose is going to wrap around, and it won't it won't work at all. So you must the reel has to start spinning this way. So we will slide it next to the huh? And this one should be my positive since it's on top. This one should be my negative since it's on bottom. And we're going to test real quick to make sure that we are properly oriented. And you'll see how. motor is actually spinning the correct way so this is wired properly. Next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to attach our solenoid to the system. I have right here one that's partially put together and you can see about approximately where I attached my solenoid. How I attached it I used, used self-tapping screws and then figured out exactly where I want, wanted the solenoid to sit. In this case, I prefer right here solely because it's more protected by the motor. So less chance of something knocking into it. You can come over here if you want. You can come up here if you want. It doesn't matter. It all depends on where you want, want it to be. For my particular model, I chose here. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your wire and you're gonna attach all your lugs to it. I chose the red wire to have the big lug since the positive on the solenoid is going to be right here. And then the small lug to be the, the medium sized one. On the other end, I have the two small ones and these will go to my switch. Once you have this set up, you can connect it to there. Now the reason I always put the blacks on this side is because your frame is going to be grounded. If you have your grounded one next to the frame, if it does happen to touch through vibration, there'll be less of a chance of grinding out your, your, your switch. Once you slide it, you have it attached, slide it in, and put your set screw on. For the other end, our positive will go to the large lug on the bottom, and our negative will go to the center post. So positive to the large lug on the bottom, and negative to the center post. Now our top post is going to go to the positive on the motor. So the, the flow of power will be your insert positive uh, DC voltage right here. It goes through here into the switch. We need to press the switch. It comes back through the black line into the solenoid. 
and then to the motor. Our negative off the motor will then go to ground. Now one of the things that's common that people forget is your solenoid itself has to be grounded as well. So your solenoid won't work unless it's grounded. The way I make sure that it is grounded is by using our self tappers and grounding it to the frame itself. And then from the frame, I ground the, the whole frame is grounded to your the, the, the truck or your trailer and that way. Uh, if there's any questions, we can be reached at uh, Texas Pressure Washing. And thank you very much for your time.